Hey, hi, hello everyone. Welcome back. We're going to be doing another new makeup releases ranking video. So this is my spin on a series that was created by Samantha March. So we're just going to be going through new releases, but we're going to be ranking them in a tier list as you can see here. So just want to put this out there that these are my opinions. And also I will have all the Instagram accounts that I'm using for this new makeup content listed down below. So please go ahead and follow them and uh, give them the love they deserve. So let's just get started and hop into it. The first product is, or the first release is from Beauty Bay. So this is the retailer that has their own brand as well. So they are releasing the Metamorphic 16 color palette and it's going to be $25. So this is a 16 pan eyeshadow palette. Um, it says, step into the cyber age and create transformative looks with the Metamorphic palette from By Beauty Bay, featuring 16 state-altering shades of smoky tonal gray, oil slick teal, and muted lilac and luxe, shimmer metallic matte and duochrome finishes. This, pigmented, this pigment-rich palette lets you create endless multi-dimensional looks. Okay, blah, 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 blah. So there's also going to be a liquid eyeshadow duo. Uh, so the duo is eighteen dollars. Um, not interested in that. And there's something else. I think is that an eyeliner? That last piece is not listed here, but it looks like it's an eyeliner, like a black eyeliner. Let's just talk about the palette and the palette only. So it's one of those ones that opens up like a a, a bifold, I guess you could say. That I don't love. Um, I think this palette is pretty, but this quite literally encapsulates everything I don't like <laughs> about my eyeshadow preferences. So I'm not someone who likes blue. I don't like icy light shades either. So this all in all is just a no for me. I have a few silver and blue shades in my collection, but those are even too many. So I don't need to add anything like this in my collection. And I really don't like the packaging. So I'm going to put her in It's Giving Meh because I feel like we could have done something better. I don't know. I'm just not getting the vibe I get. It's very like winter and it's very ice queen. That's just not my vibe in the slightest. So on to the next one. It's from Shop Alter Ego. They've kind of had like a comeback. So this is doo -doo -doo, the Mirage palette. It says experience the desert's enchanting hues with the Mirage palette. Introducing 18 majestic shades from the warmth of browns to the allure of golds and the mystery of purples. It is available now, and this is obviously a dupe for the Huda Beauty Empowered palette. I'm not going to lie to you, I think this looks better than the Empowered palette, but I don't need it. Like, we all have this palette 18 times over. I think it's pretty, I can appreciate it. If this was in my collection, I'd probably like it and use it, but I don't need to buy it at this point. And also, I am such a metallic and shimmer girly. I want to see more of those than mattes, which might be controversial, but I only need like one, two, three mattes maximum in a palette of this size because in my opinion, what's the showstopper is the shimmers. You know what I mean? So like, give me the shim, give me the shine. So... I'm going to put her in She's Cute, because I do think she's cute, it's just not for me. So from Refi, they are releasing the Refi Red Collection. So this is available now, and it's a limited edition box that includes a red lip sculpt, red lip sculpt, red tinted lip gloss, and cherry cream blush, and a Refi Compact Mirror. Okay, cute. So it's existing products in new colors. Great. It's $70 for the bundle. Oh, I forgot to mention, all prices are going to be in USD, unless mentioned otherwise. $70. And you get three products for that price. Now, someone's going to have to do a cost-benefit analysis to see what the prices of these items are on their own. I'm just wondering why these aren't sold separately. Right? Like, why are these a bundle? Because, like, I like the idea of the lip liner and the gloss, but I don't want a red cream blush. 
If I had to pick anything, I'd probably lean towards the red lip gloss, but I don't need anything else. I certainly don't need a hand mirror. I don't know, this one, I, like I get it, it's for holiday, like it makes sense. So this probably should have been in my holiday video, but it's just missed the mark a little bit for me. I'm going to put it in It's Giving May because it's a bundle that we really didn't need bundled. You know what I mean? From Natasha Denona, they have released the holiday palette. I guess it's the holiday palette. Again, probably should have been in the holiday video. I didn't think this was the holiday palette. So this is the mini trio chrome palette. So it's all new shades in royal, silver, and periwinkle blues, as well as a metallic multi-chrome that shifts from blue-green to fuchsia. Um, it's available now. See, blues and ices and periwinkle seem to be the vibe this year, even though that was the color of the year like a few years ago. So I'm not really sure what's happening. This, like the Beauty Bay palette, is quite literally my worst nightmare in a palette. <laughs> I don't think this makes sense. I don't like the colors. I don't like the tones. I don't see how this is an expansion of the original Trio Chrome. I don't like anything about this. The only thing I like is the packaging. I have to put it in the bottom one. Again, my opinion, this is so not for me. I haven't even watched anyone's videos on it because I couldn't care less about this palette. It is just so anti my taste. So. I'm gonna move on. Something that did catch my eye is from Sigma, and this is a Beauty and the Beast collection. So there's gonna be a Trio Cheek palette that has, um, I think, two blushes and a highlighter. Then there's a full-size eyeshadow palette, a mini eyeshadow palette, a brush set, and a lip set. So, doo -doo -doo -doo, I'm just trying to see when it's available. So it is available now, the entire collection. So I'm gonna I'm only gonna talk about a few things. First up, the cheek trio. Stunning. I think it's gorgeous. <laughs> it's so hard to find like a cheek palette or a face palette where you like all the colors. And I like all the colors in this one. And I've heard that the Sigma cheek products are great. So I certainly don't need it, however, if this falls to 40% off during holiday sale season, I could be convinced, especially because I like the look of the big palette as well. Yeah, I do. I do. Did you expect that? I certainly didn't. I think it looks really pretty. It has the neutrals, the purples, the pinks, there's a pop of green in there. I just think it has everything that I might need. I really like the look of it. I'm not gonna lie. So like if those, like I said, drop down to 40-50% off, I might pick them up. But I would never pay full price for them. Not ever. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to put that in. I would buy it. Because if the price is right, I'll buy it. <laughs> oh, something else that caught my eye. So from MAC, MAC has released a new collection of lipsticks. So these are the Locked Kiss 24-hour lipsticks. No one's wearing their lipstick for 24 hours. Let's just call a spade a spade. But these are Color Locked Comfort Loaded MAC Locked Kiss 24-hour lipsticks are kiss-proof and transfer-resistant lipstick with 24 hours of wear and rich matte color. They're $33 each. These lipsticks are $44.50 Canadian. Like, these are so expensive. They're crazy expensive. And, you know, I had one in my Sephora cart in anticipation for the Sephora sale. But I thought, no. Um, what I'm going to try to do is wait for a MAC sale. Because I know they can do like 30 or 40% off. So I'm going to try and grab a lipstick during a MAC sale. Because I really, really, really like the color. Um, mischief. I just like that they have a lot of like brownie neutrals in here. Like I think this is stunning. Mischief is definitely coming home with me. I could make an argument for, or wait, no, not mischief. Sorry, pardon me. I like meticulous. Meticulous. 
I also really like the look of Posh. So if max sale is good enough, I might get two. But this, this is definitely going in the I'm buying it because I will buy it on a sale. I think they look stunning. So next we have something from Glisten Cosmetics and these are liquid blushes. So there's 10 beautiful shades. They're available now and they are a radiant flush of color. So this is super fun. I love seeing Glisten Cosmetics expand and it looks like the blush colors are like more unique and fun. Like it looks like there's a purple and orange, like a bright pink, uh, a deep pumpkin. So if you're looking for a fun colored blush, this might be a good option for you if you're in the UK slash Europe. I am not in the market for that. So I'm going to put her in She's Cute. I fully appreciate it. I acknowledge it. I think it's great for the brand. I'm not the target for this product and that's okay. The next product, I have no idea who the target is. This is from Maybelline. These are called Color Rivals. So they are a shimmer and matte eyeshadow duo. So there's four color variations. There's assertive and coy, spicy and suave, chill and daring, extra and low key. They are currently available in Asia. We don't know about other locations. What are these color combinations? Like a muted kind of magenta purple with a deep gold. And then we have a light peachy salmon matte with a baby soft pink metallic. Then we have like a burnt copper sienna with like a green gold. And then like a cho this one, like the only one that looks normal. It's like a chocolate cool tone chocolate brown with like a ambery orange metallic who put these colors together like I just want to talk like I just want to talk I could see these being fantastic duos if they were good color pairings not for me I have to put it in the question mark I'm so sorry I don't understand the color selection for these duos Something I do understand and I do think is gorgeous is from Cosmic Brushes. So this is their new palette. This is 22 pounds. It has one duochrome, one multichrome, five metallics, seven mattes, and one matte with sparkle. And it's called the Gothic palette. It's stunning. It's stunning. I don't know what else to say. It is available now. Probably sold out. Don't know what the situation is. If you're looking to buy it, you should check their website. Follow them on Instagram. I think this is very beautiful. And I am kind of tempted to pick it up. However, this palette reminds me a lot of the Colored, Colored Rain and Power eyeshadow palette. It was a nine pan palette that looked pretty similar to this. I had that palette and depotted it and kept them as singles. So I don't need this because I can tell you the power palette had the first, the col all the colors in the top row, the two colors in the middle of the second row, and what else did it have? It had the dark, like black color, and it had another matte. I want to say it might have been something like the the dark purple. So the whole entire first row. The two in the middle of the second row, and the two last ones in the last row, and then another color, obviously. But it, it was quite, it's quite similar. So I don't need this, and I'm also not wearing eyeshadow that has this intensity lately. Me, even a year ago, would have bought this without hesitation, because I love purples. I'm just not wearing this intense color anymore, but I think it's stunning. I'm going to put her in I Would Buy It because I would. I think she's gorgeous, stunning. She is that girl. I just don't think it gels with my preferences right now, but she's stunning. And for 22 pounds, go on then. Another palette that has come out, let me find the photo. Did I upload? There it is. So this is from, I don't know how to pronounce this if I'm being honest. Dieverune? Dieverune? I'm going to go with Dieverun Cosmetics. So this is a new brand. And this is a brand. Oh, goodness, my phone's not cooperating. 
This is a new brand. This is their first palette. Looks stunning. So it's available now. Ooh, what is the name of the palette? I think it's called the Moth and the Moon palette. It has five multi-chromes, one shimmer, and coordinating mattes, and three spectral shards available. I don't know what that means. I don't know what a spectral shard is. But it's $60, like I mentioned, available now. I think this is cute. I really like how each shimmer has a coordinating mat. That makes me so very happy. I like to see that. Because that takes a lot of guesswork and preparation out of it. You pick a mat, you pick a shimmer, you're on your way. And if you're more advanced, you mix and match colors. This is cute. Unfortunately, a little bit too much color for me. And $60 USD, it's quite expensive uh, for a Canadian. So I can appreciate this from afar. I can't wait to see what else the brand does. The swatches look great. I think it's A++. She's stunning. I have to put her in she's cute because I don't think I would buy it. But I do think she's like really cute. Let me know your thoughts on that one. And if you know how to pronounce the brand, please help. From LH Cosmetics, they are dropping the Smoke It Out palette. So this is $49 and it is a nine pan eyeshadow palette. So it says, unleash your creativity with this remarkable partnership between LH Cosmetics and renowned makeup artist Hannah Martin. Okay, so it's a collab, cute. So designed by the visionary Hannah Martin, this palette is your passport to achieving both striking and understated looks. When in doubt, smoke it out. So it is available now, designed in Sweden, made in Italy. I think it's really cute. I wish the top pink, the one in the, like the first shade in the palette, was a, a metallic. But this is the shimmer to matte ratio I'm looking for here. Like, imagine if that was six shimmers and three mattes. Like, that would just be perfection. I can appreciate the beauty of this palette. I do think it's really pretty. I have to put her in She's Cute because I think there's something missing. There's some pizzazz that's missing for me. I don't know what it is. I think this would be a great everyday palette. I just don't know what is not floating my boat if you know what I mean. But like if I had this, I think this would be great for work, for travel. You could take this on the go, get do your makeup on your way to work or to school or wherever you're going. I see the benefits of this, but there's something holding me back and I don't want that. So we're gonna move on to the next one. This is the penultimate release for today. I feel like I'm doing these videos really fast. Let me know your feedback. Do you want longer videos? Do you want them to keep to be kept short and cute like this? Do you want me to do more product detail? Let me know your feedback because I feel like I've only been talking for five minutes. So anyways, this is from Trixie Cosmetics. This is the Horse Girl Collection. And it is inspired by the feminine urge to drop everything and ride off into the sunset. So, doo -doo -doo -doo, I believe it is available now. So this features the Horse Girl palette, which is a 12 pan palette, it's $48. Then there's a single blush uh, in the shade Show Pony for $14. And there is a sunny strawberry red pink shade of the liquid lipstick for $16. I think it's so cute. That theme is just so funny, I love to see it. Now the palette. The palette color story is not for me. I see we're doing warm neutrals with a pop of blue, um, but the neutrals are leaning more on like on the pinky side. I think it's so funny and I love the packaging of it, like the des outer design, just not for me. So I'm gonna have to put her, see I need this she's cute section to be bigger. She's also going, oh my gosh, oh no. Just move the whole grid. How do I get my photo back? Hold on, hold on just a darn minute here. Okay, I grabbed my photo. I'm putting her in She's Cute. <laughs> it's just so funny. I just don't love the color story. Anyways, the last thing is something I'm certainly gonna pick up at some point. Elf Cosmetics has released the Glow Reviver Lip Oils. So these are gonna be $8 USD each. And there are currently seven shades. I imagine these might be like $11 Canadian. 
So it's an ultra glossy tinted lip oil that nourishes, hydrates, and enhances your lips natural color. It's formulated with squalene, apricot, avocado, and pomegranate oils. The shades are Jam Session, Honey Talks, Rose Envy, Red Delicious, Coral Fixation, Pink Quartz, and Crystal Clear. I'm not going to lie to you, I would enjoy having all of these shades. Maybe not some of the light ones that all look the same, but the ones that are actually like tinted, I would like all of those. At this point in time, I have a lot of lip glosses specifically to go through, and I did order the Fenty Beauty lip gloss set. So I have a lot of lip glossy lip products to work my way through. Can I promise I won't pick one of these up before I finish all of those? No, absolutely not. But I will definitely have this in my collection at some point, probably as soon as it comes to Canada. And that's that on that. So she's going in the I'm buying it. Very funny that the two products in I'm buying it are lip products. And I've specifically stated I'm not trying to buy any more lip products. But anyways, that is the ranking for this week. Let me know what products have stood out to you. Do you agree with the ranking? What would you move? Tell me what you think of those Maybelline duos. Like, is it just me? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one. The next one should be another holiday edition of this ranking. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.